Hey everybody, it's January 2023 and there is a new version of Creality Sonic Pad firmware available. I'm going to take a few minutes, go over the new features, and more importantly, is it as hard to install as last month's firmware upgrade? Let's find out. So I'm going to start with the most important question. Is the January firmware as difficult to install as the December firmware was? Now, I don't need to remind anyone that installed the December firmware. It was a little bit of a nightmare. Uh, while it did keep your printer config file, you had to go through the guided setup again. Uh, I know in my case, it took a while before I could get the Sonic pad to detect my printer. Uh, it, it just wasn't good. And I'm happy to say that this month, everything went much more smoothly. In my case, I didn't wait for a prompt for the OTA upgrade. I went through the settings menu and downloaded it right away. It downloaded and installed. Everything came back up. All my printer settings were there. My printer was still there. Um, no guided setup. So kudos to Creality for making that experience a million times better. Having said that, there's several new features. Let's get into those and see what's new. So this is Creality's announcement for the January 2023 firmware upgrade. Uh, I'll post a link to this in the description. Um, number one on the list, they've added more printers again. Um, kudos again to Creality for continuing to add printer support, including this month. I see the Prusa Minis on there. As far as I know, it's the first time that Creality has added a printer from a third party to the Sonic Pad. Um, that's really encouraging. Glad to see that. Uh, it looks like they're committed to the whole open architecture of the Sonic Pad. Next on the list is the power loss recovery function. Great function to have. Uh, anyone that's had their power go out in the middle of a long print knows what kind of time and material waste that can be. I did give this a try and you can see it here. All right, so the first thing you need to do is go into the settings menu, choose other settings, scroll all the way to the bottom and turn on power outage removal. From there, you can just back out to the main menu and let's give it a try. In case you're wondering, I have a calibration cube printing at 300 millimeters per second. I have a video coming out in the near future where we're going to work on maximizing speeds from the sonic pad. And let's shut it down. Obviously, I don't recommend doing that too often, but uh, for the purposes of testing, we'll see how it goes. Fire everything back up and fingers crossed. Okay, we're back up and running. And there's the prompt, abnormal interruption of printing is detected. Obviously, we're going to choose to resume. And one thing to note, if you resume the print after a power failure, no matter how far in the print you are, the progress is going to start at zero again. Not a big deal, it's better than losing your whole print, but just so you're aware that that will be the case. And we will give it a couple more seconds and you'll see the print starts again. Picks up right where it left off. And uh, I, I obviously I'm not going to wait for the whole print to complete, but I can tell you that it picked up without a hitch and everything worked out just fine. Number three on the list, I haven't been able to try myself. Unfortunately, I don't have one of the printers that it works with. But uh, 
the ability to preview, slice, and print from models that you save in Creality Cloud from your Sonic Pad. Again, I haven't been able to try this. Currently, it only works with the Ender 3 S1, Ender 3 S1 Pro, and Ender 3 V2. Um, Creality says here they're going to add more printers in the future. I'm looking forward to that. If anyone uh, has given this a try, I, I'd love to hear how it works. Please feel free to leave a note in the comments. And uh, in the meantime, I will just wait for that one. So the next new feature is some new time-lapse settings. Now, about a week ago, I posted a video. You can find it at the top right to get that growing out of the print bed look on your time-lapses. This functionality from what I'm seeing here should do the same thing. For me, it's not working at all. Whenever I try to choose this when nozzle is moved option, the printer prints the first layer just fine. The nozzle does move out of the way, but once it moves out of the way, the job just stops. It, it, there's no error. It's just showing me, it, it's indicating like the prints completed successfully. So in my case, I'm gonna continue using the time-lapse method that I'm currently using. I changed this back to start position per layer. And uh, again, you can click on the link for the video I previously posted. If you if you can get this to work, please let me know in the comments. I, I'd love to see it. I mean, it, in theory, does seem like it would be a little easier than adding macros and things like that, like the method I'm using does. The last one here is just a pretty quick one. You now have the ability to export your logs directly from the Sonic Pad and send them from the Sonic Pad device itself to Creality's customer service. Nice little convenient feature they added there. The other one, they didn't list it separately, but you can see right here, they added the online user manual and time format switching function. What's the time format switching function? Basically, it gives you a 12 hour clock instead of just the 24 hour clock. Again, a nice little UI update. Uh, nothing huge, but you know, it's the little things that uh, make the experience better. So there it is, the January 2023 Sonic Pad firmware upgrade. Uh, again, in summary, I mean, they have greatly improved the install process compared to the December firmware upgrade uh, the power failure resume function is great to have I mean it's in a lot of printers stock printers as it is glad they added it to the sonic pad the time lapse in my experience at least could still use some work luckily there is a channel out there that you can watch to find out how to do better time lapses with your sonic pad um, you know my channel so please feel free, click the like button, subscribe. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. We're going to start getting into how to maximize the print speed from your Sonic Pad. I will see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.